we're really moving very aggressively to address the deficiencies that have been pointed out by this report. Uh, so I think our friends and, and uh, fans and family members uh, ought to look at it and say this is a university that's really serious about its obligation to play by the rules and has uh, uh, moved uh, as quickly as humanly possible uh, to get uh, the university firmly on the path uh, to establishing a culture of compliance. The speed with which we're moving, uh, the comprehensiveness of the uh, uh, approach that we're taking ought to signal to the NCA that we're good members and uh, take seriously our obligations to uphold the rules and regulation of the association. I think what we're looking for is, is a sense that uh, we build a compliance program uh, that um, does more than look for little violations. It really helps people more fully understand the obligations we have as uh, members of the NCAA and helps them make better informed uh, decisions as they, as they go about their daily activities. Uh, you know, it's pretty rare that uh, uh, you get a, a, an ethical choice, let's say, that comes to you with a, a big border around it that says uh, ethical choice. You know, there are often, often there are a lot of little things that add up to uh, something major. So we, we want to have a, a compliance uh, program uh, that, that really works with people to help them understand uh, uh, all of the decisions they make in, in the framework uh, of uh, uh, rules compliance uh, and uh, good professional ethics. We're very fortunate to have Admiral Harms uh, as a, a choice to be um, uh, interim AD. He's done this once before uh, when Steve Orsini left back in, I think it was 2006. Uh, and he, uh, he did a very fine job for us uh, in the period between Steve's leaving and Keith's uh, assuming the responsibilities of Director of Athletics. I think Al will do a fine job uh, for us uh, in, in the interim role, uh, but let me assure you that we're going to move quickly and aggressively to secure the very best uh, uh, regularly appointed Director of Athletics that we can. We want someone who's well experienced and who uh, knows what it means to be successful at the highest level. So um, my sense is we'll look for either a, a successful sitting director of athletics uh, or uh, someone who is at the associates level uh, and has uh, uh, participated in management of uh, top quality um, program or programs uh, in some cases at, uh, at the highest level. When I got here we were still uh, Division I AA. Um, we played our games down at the Citrus Bowl before 10 or 15,000 fans often. Um, you know, it was a different day. Uh, we've, we've seen a growth in size and quality of the program. Uh, we've been very proud members of Conference USA now since, uh, I guess, 2005 uh, and uh, have been to a number of bowls and uh, last year managed to beat uh, one of the, the great uh, universities in college football, the University of Georgia and the Liberty Bowl. Um, our basketball programs, men's and women's, have progressed. All of our sports have grown and uh, we're now ready to make that step up to the highest level of uh, conference affiliation. Um, I feel very good about where we're going. Uh, I think we've got a solid uh, base that we're working from, uh, but clearly uh, we've learned recently that we have some compliance issues we've got to address. Uh, but I, I think we're We've made a lot of progress and yet the great days are ahead of us.